day keeps the psychiatrist away. I don't know, that was weird. What's up, bella gente? I got the crazy curls going on. What is up, bella gente? Welcome to my new desk. Oh my God, she's beautiful. I just love her. I just stand here sometimes and I just look at her and I'm like, you are the best thing that's ever happened to me, truly. As you can see, things are looking a little different. If you've seen my previous office setup, girl, have we upgraded. We have upgraded. I've been wanting to upgrade my work from home setup because I'm a UX designer here in New York City and literally a sis is sitting here all day long. So if I'm gonna spend like 10 plus hours sitting here, I wanna look at something nice, you know? So my previous desk was from Ikea. It was a wonderful desk, to be honest. It's like a really good desk if you don't care too much about the option of standing up while you work, but I really like having that option. I'm the type of person that literally every 30 minutes, I wanna get up, I wanna move around. So I really wanted a standing desk and I really wanted an electric one, electric, I guess electric, because I didn't wanna to have to manually lift it up. So she's a little high maintenance queen, but it's okay. I wanna take you through just kind of the process of how I switched up my desk in my work from home situation because it was expensive. Everything, of course, will be linked in the description box. I got you, don't you worry, everything is down there. So the first thing that I actually got was this right here. What would you call this? A laptop stand, I guess. It was an easy upgrade because it was the less, least expensive thing that I bought. Okay, it was just really nice because it gave me the option instead of having, you know, with my, since I still had my old desk at the time that wasn't a standing desk, I had the option to kind of lift up my computer a little bit. So it made it so that I wasn't like crouching over literally anytime my roommate would walk in, I'd be like, hey, how you doing? And I would complain about back pain. It was just like, it was an entire thing. So it was like, Okay, what can we do first that isn't gonna cost me so much money? So if you don't have the money for a standing desk or a standing desk extender, this will make a difference because you're not like crouched over, at least you can kind of sit up a little bit straighter. The second thing that I got was this desk chair. Ah! She is a beautiful, she is a beautiful. Every person that walks into my room and sees my desk chair, they're like, that is the cutest desk chair I have ever seen. Desk chairs are usually ugly, okay? They're usually black. Uh, well, black can look nice, but they're like the the dad looking office chairs, you know what I mean? When you had like that, that office chair in your computer room, like back in the 2000s, like early 2000s. But this is beautiful. She's beautiful. She's like this green color, almost like a sage green color that's like one of my favorite colors there's more colors than this of course and it's just comfortable it has the lumbar support in the back and i built this myself okay i built this myself We got it done. And then I got my standing desk. This whole office upgrade would not exist without her. Okay, she is also from Branch Furniture. Thank God I have this beautiful, wonderful friend, Charlie, who lives here in New York. We went to college together and he is my handyman. He came over and very graciously put this desk together for me. My friend Charlie is here helping me build, help, not helping, he's doing the entire thing, so. I'm replacing her boyfriend. Thank you. I love the little keypad that allows you to adjust the height. I love the options that you have. You can even lock in, like save different heights. Let's say you find that 41.5 inches is perfect height for you. You can save that height so that 
every time you don't have to like find the exact height that you want it at. You can just press the, the I think it's the number one or the number two, and it automatically goes to that specific height for you. And it just looked really sleek. It was also like kind of hard to find a cute standing desk. Some of them looked kind of bulky or flimsy, like they would fall over or something, but this is so sturdy. This is sturdy, okay? The next thing I got was my personal MacBook computer. She's a 16 inch, 32 RAM MacBook Pro. The reason I got this personal computer is because of you. Well, not literally because of you, but because of you too. A lot of my content is really large files. They're really hefty files. And so my little itty bitty 12 inch MacBook would not, could just couldn't handle it. Sorry, this is my work computer. This is my MacBook Pro. I just love it. It's really heavy. That is the one downside to it, but it is worth it for the size. You get so much screen, real estate, and the speed. Oh my gosh, when I export my videos, it's so fast. So I absolutely love this computer. I definitely think it was worth it for me. And also I'm a UX designer, so when I design on Figma, and that kind of stuff. It'd just be really nice to be able to have like a huge screen. Moving right along, we're almost done. I then got this external trackpad from Apple. The reason that I got this trackpad is because when I have my computer mounted on this little laptop stand, sometimes I don't like to have to like bend, like my wrist is kind of like you know, like T-Rex situation. I actually prefer using a trackpad to a mouse. I don't know if it's because I do a lot of designing or, or editing, I'm not sure, but I just prefer it. So I wanted something that was the same level as the desk. So I didn't even know this existed until I just looked up external trackpad and I was like, girl, it exists. Everything freaking exists these days. And it's huge too, which is so amazing. You have so much surface area, so much room to scroll your little heart out. Okay, and the last thing I want to talk about is my monitor. So this is actually not my monitor. My roommate was super kind enough to let me borrow one of her monitors. She has two and she was like, I don't need both so you can borrow one. So I'm kind of trialing it out to see kind of the size, if I like the size, if I like the display. Every single UX design friend that I have who would find out that I don't have an external monitor when I work, they were like, are you okay? It's just so nice to have an extra screen that you can kind of just put files on and you know display more than just one document at a time. And especially as a designer, it has changed my life. I am still looking for the perfect monitor. I've seen like LG monitors are really good or there's even some collapsible monitors that you can take on the go, like if you go to a coffee shop and Eso es todo. That's all I got. This is my upgraded work from home setup. I am just feeling so much more productive, so much happier and just excited to go to work and excited to have the option to stand up while I work and move around and just everything. It's not cheap, but definitely is worth it if you are remote. If you work from home, definitely think about how you can, you know, it doesn't even have to be every single piece in your office, but it can be little pieces at a time to upgrade your work from home situation. Like I said, everything, todo, 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 todo is gonna be linked in the description box down below. And I will see you somewhere, sometime, elsewhere on the internet. Bye, adios.